bridegroom, I'm here to marry Janet. That star of Felting's Follies whom I love a lot. It was absolutely the most fun of any show I have ever seen. It was just pure fun and beautiful costumes. The casting was excellent. Danny was phenomenal. It was fabulous. It's a the Waterfront Playhouse Theater has been entertaining audiences in Key West for over 70 years. As I mentioned earlier in the show, they were voted by Florida Monthly Magazine as the best professional theater in the state. They always have an unforgettable season. 2013 has been no different for them. I'm joined this morning by the artistic director, Danny Weathers. Danny, it's a pleasure having you back on. Thank you for Thank being you. here. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here. <laughs> All right, Danny, what do you think about the success of Drowsy Chaperone? I'm just overwhelmed by it. I really am. I, 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 knew, it was, I, I, I knew it was a great piece. It has so much heart and it's so much fun and uh, it just has all these great elements. But I just had no idea it was going to be the success that it, it, it is and mm -hmm. I'm thrilled. Every night is sold out, isn't Every it? Every night is sold out. In <laughs> fact, uh, yes, yeah, the whole run is sold out at this point. I don't know how you're going to top it next year, Danny, this <laughs> season, right? I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be difficult, but, you know, I, I, I kind of think that, well, I, I, you know, every year, what am I going to do? And you just do your best and mm -hmm. try to put together a season that is hopefully going to appeal to the Key West community, the Keys community, and bring people in and give them a wonderful time. Now, Danny, how long have you been the artistic director at the Waterfront? This is my ninth year. Mm -hmm. my Your ninth, ninth year. year. And are you happy with the progress that the Waterfront makes every year? I'm really happy. Um, when I first came into this position, um, the theater was struggling, and I certainly don't take you know credit for it. There was a lot of people that worked very, very hard. and. Um, uh, I mean, it's just been amazing to watch how year after year we have progressed and how our budgets have increased. And, uh, you know, I just think we do better and better theater all the time. And that's our, our, our goal is to do more spectacular productions. Um, and our donor base is, is, has increased. Our audience numbers have really increased. And this is definitely our best season so far. Now, Danny, you did a little bit some... You did something a little different in the Drowsy Chaperone. You were actually on stage. You had a big part in the Drowsy Chaperone. Not to mention, you also had to do directing in it, too. Yes. What was that like? Um, busy. <laughs> Very. <laughs> uh, crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah, a little insane. Um, I, um, I don't always like to do, I don't like to do that because um, I like to feature the other actor, uh, actors in town. But when I was looking at Drowsy Chaperone, I thought, you know, who could do this? And I went back and forth and it just, the, the role spoke to me so much. And mm -hmm. I thought, well, you know, that will save some money there. So, <laughs> so I thought, you know, I, I just was going to go ahead and take this on. And it's a cast of 18. That's a lot of people to, mm -hmm. to, to cast on stage in Key West, especially musical theater people. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I thought, well, why not? So um, I did it and it's really just been a thrill, as I say. Now, do you have... Uh an elaborate background in theater, Danny? Um, well, um, I, I was in theater in New York for 13 mm -hmm. years. Um, I, um, I have a big Broadway credit, uh, which was a chorus line mm -hmm. on Broadway. Um, and I worked in a lot of regional theater. I worked in other theaters in, in New York off-Broadway. And um, um, I actually worked with Bruce Moore, who is, uh, we did a show together in New York in 1980. 586, and mm -hmm. he's now in the Drowsy Chaperone and, <laughs> and uh, lived in Key West for a time. So it's a small world show business, but uh, yeah. I have a fairly extensive background in, in theater, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you've done such a great job again with the Waterfront Playhouse Theater here. Thanks. Now, we've talked this morning all about Typhoon mm -hmm. Judy with Christopher and Darren, two amazing, <laughs> amazing performers. Yes. How fortunate are we to have them down here? Right Absolutely. Now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, was, uh, last year Christopher said he had a little project that he was interested in and um, I, I took a look at it and anything that Christopher does I'm going to listen to because mm -hmm. he's such an amazing, um, he's an amazing actor mm -hmm. um, and uh, not only a performer but he's an amazing actor and uh, I just, I think so much of him and also Darren and so when I read it I, I didn't really have, I had a few questions about you know this and that um, uh, but I, I thought I'm on board. 
Mm -hmm. you know, so let's do this. And Typhoon Judy isn't the last performance. You do have still one more. One more, <laughs> one more big production. That's mm -hmm. Death Trap, which was a movie with Michael Caine and Christopher Reeve uh, and Diane Cannon done uh, some time ago. But it's a wonderful uh, m mystery thriller, mm -hmm. funny, and I guarantee you, you will jump out of your seat a couple of times. Because when I saw it on Broadway, I thought I was going to <laughs> <laughs> jump over the balcony. It was, it, there's a moment in it that's so like shocking, oh, you know. Great. So, um, and it's really exciting, and, and we have a terrific cast, and uh, I think it's going to be really a lot of fun. We did it um, at Tennessee Williams probably back in 19, early 1990s, and it was, but we only did five performances, and so I thought, let's bring it back and do mm -hmm. it again um, with a different cast and new people. I actually was in it years ago, but uh, I'm too old now to do it. So. <laughs> I'm sure you could do great. Well, everybody, get your tickets now for both of these performances. Mm -hmm. yes. They will go quick. Contact the Waterfront Playhouse Theater for your tickets. Danny, thank you for being thank on you, this Jenna. morning. Thank you, Jenna. It's always a pleasure. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in today and joining me. I hope you can join me back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care, everyone, and have a great rest of your day. It'll be okay.